So today's interview question has to do with understanding scope, immediately invoked function expressions, try catch blocks, throwing errors, but really most of it comes back to scope. So uh, if you want a copy of this starter code, you'll find the link to it down in the description and have a look, see if you can figure out what the three console log statements are going to be, what order they're going to come up in and what are going to be the three values that they log out. I'll give you a moment to uh, think about that and then we'll come back and talk about the solution. Okay, welcome back. So in this one, we're sitting all of our code inside of this immediately invoked function expression. So the code's going to run by itself right at the very start. At the top of our function, we're using let to declare the variable. So they are scoped for the entire block right here. And that means they will exist anywhere inside of here. One and two are the variable names. Now the try catch, that's not going to change the sequence or anything. So the try catch block will run before these two console log statements. In the try, all we're doing is we're throwing an error. Now, when you create an error, you're using the constructor new, you're creating a new error. What you're doing inside of here, this 321, this is just the message for the error. So this error gets thrown inside the try, which will cause the catch block to run. This variable here, one, is going to contain the error. If we said one dot message inside of the code here, we're going to be able to get to that 321. But Beyond that, we don't really care about this 321. So what's happening here is this is being declared as a local variable. This will exist inside the scope right here. That's where this one will exist. It's like a, a function with a self-contained variable. So one is being created here. On the next line, we have two expressions separated with a comma. We're putting the value one, two, three into the variable one. So the question becomes, which one are we assigning to? Are we assigning to this one or this one? Both of them are accessible here, but what will happen is JavaScript will look to see in its current context, in its current scope right here, does a variable one exist? Was a variable one declared within this scope? And yes, it was right here on the first line. So this one, two, three will replace the error that existed here. JavaScript is a softly typed language. It doesn't care what was in the variable before. If you want to replace what's in there, great, go ahead. I can have a string and then replace it with a number. I can have an object and replace it with a Boolean. JavaScript doesn't care. It will let you change what exists inside of a variable. So this one, two, three is going to replace the error, or sorry, right here, this one, two, three, it, yeah, it's going to replace the error that was passed inside of here. So right now, at this point, the variable one is the one that was declared locally inside the catch block, and it has the value one, two, three. So this one right here will be the first to run, and it will have the value one, two, three inside of it. Next, we're looking to set the value of two. Now, there isn't a two that was declared within this scope. It will then go up to the next highest level, which is the function and look for a variable declared at that level. There was one, so this variable up here becomes three, two, one. So this two up here will be set to three, two, one. And that means down here, three, two, one will be the value. And it's really only this one right here that we're wondering about. And this one, because the one that we had here was one declared this spot, up at the top, this one was never assigned a value. So when we get down to here, we're going to be getting undefined. Okay, so let's run this just to show that we do know what we're talking about. And there it is, one, two, three, undefined, three, two, one. That's the result that we are getting here. All right, so if you have any questions, please feel free to leave those in the comments down below. I have a link to the rest of the interview question playlist down in the comments as well, or in the description rather. And as always, thanks for watching.